morning or afternoon if anyone's seen this video um right this is the first time i've been back in the shed since the bad weather's been diagnosed well when well the last bad weather's been he's come in um what am i talk about my well it's technically a mini review actually it's about the class 47 my little fascination of the 47 I mean, it all started about mm, mm, uh, a year ago when I started getting back into the hobby again. I said to myself, well, I'll only model steam. Then I ended up waking, going in my local, well, I had the money to buy myself a, a, brand, a new steam, a second hand steam engine. I was looking at a 8F. I always wanted a heavy good strain. Then I ended up, let me bring it around. Instead of buying an 8F, I ended up buying this little rake, coaches, and that class 47. Well, it's a funny story. I think this story's been told so many times. La 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 la. I went, bought the train, thinking, oh, I can run Mark 1's out behind it. My plan was to get rid of the one angle of markings, make it a little bit old and wreck it. Then I end up falling in love with it. There's two on eBay at the moment. If anyone's interested in buying them, I think the starting bids are £19.99. I paid £35 for my little one. Actually, yeah, £35. Price is actually in the box somewhere. So, yeah, it's on a call service. Then I ended up going to grab a toy fair a couple of months later. And I saw this grey one for £22. I even told the asked the old boys who were selling it. I said, really, are you selling that for £22? He said, yeah, it still goes. My God, I was shocked. It was in clean condition. It actually ran, it ran smooth. I mean, I did, hold on. I thought, I'm never going to pick up a low code like this for £22. Oh, all right, I might need to clean the track, but it does run smoothly. And I must admit, I did put new running numbers on it. This is actually was a freight line locomotive with that number. I thought at the time I wasn't looking for another 47, and I needed spares for my aging Angler Railways 47. Instead, I decide. Well, I went to Grandma Toy Fair again this week with my best mate. He said, Oh, Jason, you're just looking, aren't we? Yep, yeah. we're not buying. He was supposed to be on conscious, he told me not to buy anything. Then I saw this for £35. I thought it wouldn't go. That's what he said. And the wheels are rotten, they've got dirt in the wheels. I ended up picking up this 47. And to be frankly honest, I was going to use it for spares. I still might actually take the Virgin markings off it and put a freight line sticker on the side of it. Because mostly the 47s did go to freight line from Virgin and EWS. All I've been reading up on it. This one never got changed. This one got strapped straight after its existence. So that's it four minutes of me talking about the 47 yep I well I do run steam mostly I think I only run diesel when it's cold and when it's cold I mean the hall is there at the moment yep the hall is there I must admit the 47 it is one of those the Hornby 47 with a ring fill motor gets me all the time if I'm going to a toy fair I will buy another Hornby 47 room fill motor I don't want detail detail be nice but no I've got the I've got the 56 for detail no I mean they're like an unsung hero aren't they Lima design 
The only drawbacks to them, they do work real on first radius track. And the only drawback I've noticed with a couple of mine, the middle bogey always comes loose. I don't know if it's because we're running I'm running on first radius. But it's never troubled me, it still keeps on going. Oh, don't put it there. No, not the train on the track. No. If you want a cheap, cheap loco or a cheap train, a cheap diesel, look up the 47. They work well on first radius, they work well on second radius, they work well on every radius. I mean it. I have never thought I'd say this, but the railroad version of the Hornby 47 has got to be carried on. I mean, this one's a 1980s model, and it's exactly the same as an early noughties model. No, I'm not criticising. I do love my steam. Look at that, I'm talking six minutes. I haven't really done anything to the layout lately anyway, if anyone's wondering. No, I haven't done anything to it. I haven't had time. This is actually the first day back in the shed. I thought I was sitting here, run, with, run a 47, run two 47s. I mean, I don't mind running this, I, don't, I like running this way, this one. Mm. That little whine in the motor, that always gets me, it's like, hold on, don't get rid of me, I'm still good. <laughs> it, might mean, it might mean it needs oiling, but I don't know. Actually, that's been oiled recently. Should be running Mark 3s on the first radius. I don't really run the Mark 3s on the first radius. No. Since getting it, it's been brilliant. Alright, it's on a. Alright, it's got the same trucks I've had out for the hall. And it still keeps on going. And all I can think of. I think the going price for a 47 should be about 35 to 45. Don't go more than 45. Go on, keep going. All I've done to get this thing to work is clean the wheels. And it still works. There, I'm going eight minutes about talking about 47. So, all right, I'm stopping, people. Goodbye for now. I think next, well, I'm hoping to get back. Well, don't have the weather warms up. I can start working on my next part of the, my, my project. Get some lights put in there on here, this corner. Hoping my sister comes back so she can paint this wall. Get the street lights done. I haven't done that. I don't really need a lot. Well, I'm quite proud of that. I must admit, I'm not proud of the ski junction down here. Yeah, but if you're wondering, yep, yeah, that's, well, they're all controlled by a little Oxford diecast box until I get proper box made up. Signals are off. All right, bye-bye for now.